All right, getting all the serious stuff out of the way, now we can talk about something a little lighter and cooler. A local New Mexican is back after taking on the big stage, one you saw right here on KOB4 earlier tonight. If you're an avid American Ninja Warrior watcher, Perhaps you've watched Ishel Valentino. The UNM student competed on the show this season, but didn't quite make it past the first round of the finals. But that does not mean we are done seeing her on that famous obstacle course. Monica Logroño got to speak to her today about all this. So Monica, when will we see her compete again? Yes, so Tessa, come next season, we'll be able to cheer on Valentino once again on American Ninja Warrior. I was able to catch up with the ninja herself to talk about her experience on the mm -hmm. show, why she's called the nerdy ninja, <laughs> and how she's taking what she learned as fuel to tackle this next season. It still feels like a whole dream to me because I grew up here and there's only a few people from New Mexico that have made it that far on the show and so now I get to be one of those people. Ishelle Valentino is back on UNM's campus after taking the national stage on American Ninja Warrior. You have to qualify through a few things. You have to do the qualifiers, move on to the semifinals, win in the semifinals to move on to the actual finals. So I made it all the way to stage one and then unfortunately did not do my best out there, but I was super happy to make it that far. Even though she didn't win at all, the 19 year old says she's cheering on her fellow ninjas who are now her friends. Will you be tuning in tonight? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> I got the experience to go film with them, compete with them. I'm like actually friends with some of those people and we go train together and we meet up at competitions. The UNM sophomore calls herself the nerdy ninja. She's studying nuclear engineering. Starting the school year, it's a little stressful. The workload's a lot, but I'm excited for it. If I could handle something like the big stage on American Ninja Warrior, I think I could handle a few exams. On top of all her school work, she's going back to the competition floor later this month. About three weeks ago, I got called back for season 17 of American Ninja Warrior. They're going to be filming in Las Vegas, so I get to go back to the big stage. While she was a rookie this season, she's no stranger to competitions. I did robotics competitively at the age of five. I did it all the way through high school. She says that experience, plus her time on Ninja Warrior, is preparing her to come back better than ever. I was really used to getting my mind in that state for a competition, getting myself prepared to like take on a course, and I would just kind of block everything out. I was very sound mentally. Um, but with Ninja, you have to also be ready physically. Since I filmed before, I've gotten a lot stronger, both physically and mentally, with how I approach competitions and how I train myself. Now you can watch Valentino next season on American Ninja Warrior, but she is not the only New Mexican tackling this insane obstacle course. That is so right because we found out another Albuquerque uh, native, Katie Bone, announced on social media that she also got the call for season 17 of American Ninja Warrior. So how's that? Exactly. At just 16 years old, Katie claimed victory in the women's division. In a post, she said while she's slightly terrified, she is psyched to be back. Now, it's, we're still early on, so we don't know yeah. when season 17 will end. Air, but we know, of course, it'll air on KOB4. We That's were it. watching uh, tonight's finals with all of the new gadgets and gizmos, so I can't Nail even biter. imagine <laughs> what the ladies will do next season. All right, Monica, thanks so much.